Lisa from Small Kids Big God and today we're talking about books. We read lots of books in our homeschool and I've kept track of all the read-alouds that we've read in our homeschool from the beginning and I keep them on a document on my computer and I type up each title and then a little blurb about what I thought about the book in case I want to read it later or read it with my younger kids later or skip the book for some reason so I can remember what we've read. I thought I'd share that with you today to give you guys an idea of the books that we've enjoyed or haven't thought were worthwhile and then you can check them out. Most of these books are library books so I don't have them all with me but I'm going to list every book title and author in the description box below in the order that I say them so that you can follow along and choose the books that you might enjoy. I'm splitting this into two videos because I've got a little over 50 books to share with you today and so this is part one. Let's get started. So the first book is the story of Winnie the Pooh, The Complete Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. We read this when my kids were really young. Um, all of these books are going to be for elementary age or younger. Um, my oldest is eight years old, so all these books I've read with an eight-year-old or younger. So these are books that are great for elementary and even for a little bit younger. This book is great for any age. We've read Winnie the Pooh more than once, several times, and it's a great book. And I put in my notes to have my kids read it on their own when they're older because there's some things that you can only get by looking at the at the book like the little misspellings and little jokes and stuff like that you can't understand as a read aloud so Winnie the Pooh always a favorite the next book on my list is the trumpet of the swan this is my personal favorite E.B. White book um, we've done this one more than once too and we've really enjoyed it there's a lot of good um, good concepts in here like the the idea of bravery and freedom being more important than safety and repaying debt and lots of good values. It's an interesting story that we have all enjoyed. The next book is Beverly Cleary's The Mouse and the Motorcycle. It's a really interesting book. It's cute. The mouse rides on a motorcycle and there are a couple other books in this series that my boys have picked up and read on their own. Um, this was the only one we did as a read aloud, but I would recommend it. The next book we read was Jeremy the Honest Bunny. And this book was an interesting story that really kept my boys' attention and it had good themes in it too. So we'll definitely get it again when my younger kids are older. Um, Mr. Popper's Penguins is a book we read too and that's often on people's lists. We didn't enjoy it as much as everybody else. I didn't find anything particularly objectionable with it, but um, I didn't see much value to it either and I really didn't like the ending, so that kind of put me off. I don't think we're gonna read that one again. Um, Robert McCloskey wrote a book called Homer Price, and we really enjoyed that book. Um, each chapter is its own individual story, so you can read it in different segments, and it's kind of an interesting look into um, that time period. Our kids thought it was entertaining and funny, and so we enjoyed that. Next book is The Enormous Egg. It's a story of a boy who finds an egg and inside a live dinosaur hatches. Uh, we thought this book was okay as well. It was a little bit slow, not too exciting, and it didn't really seem to be very realistic for what would actually happen if a person found a dinosaur. So depending on how particular you are about accuracy in your dinosaur stories, depends on if you'd enjoy The Enormous Egg or not. The next book is definitely a favorite of ours. It's Beverly Cleary's Two Times the Fun. This is a story about twin four-year-olds, and um, this book is good for really young kids. Um, four-year-olds and older and one of the advantages of this book is it's four short chapters um, with lots of pictures and the um, each chapter is its own story but what makes this book so great is Beverly Cleary just captures a four-year-old it's like exactly the same thing that my four-year-olds would do and we've enjoyed reading this so many times um, the next book is called The Littles it's a story about tiny people who live in um, the walls of a larger people's home and they have tails like mice do and it's a quick read um, a cute adventure that my kids enjoy um, not one of my very favorites but I think it's worth the time to read it Stuart Little's another mouse book an E.B. White book of course um, it wasn't as interesting or um, well written as I remember it to be um, and the ending I thought was anticlimactic but it did keep the attention of our kids and it was fairly short. So that's our take on Stuart Little. Another book we read is Owls in the Family. This is definitely one of our son's very favorite books. 
it was engaging and it was interesting and they laughed a lot at the antics of the owls that come to live um, in these people's home. Um, it was one of the best books that we've read and our boys have read it more than once. The next book we read was The Boxcar Children and I definitely would recommend reading the first one in the series. Um, just the whole idea of how the children need a home and then they set up this boxcar as their own home and it, for weeks after my boys would play in the backyard kind of like setting up the idea of like having their own home and there were four boxcar children and there are four of my kids and so each one got assigned like a name of the boxcar children based on the story and when they're going and acting it out afterwards that's always a sign that they're like processing the story and learning and they've enjoyed it um i would recommend that we read charlie and the chocolate factory this is a fun book and a funny book and they think the little rhymes from the Oompa Loompas are so hilarious. We've never seen the movie, but um, really enjoyed the book. Um, we read the next Boxcar Children book. It's called Surprise Island because my kids just really liked the Boxcar Children. Um, they're fun to read about because they have so much freedom and it's, it is so unrealistic for kids to just be able to do <laughs> whatever they want as if they have no parents. Um, the writing isn't that great and it's a little bit underwhelming, but our kids liked this story, so we carried on with it. This next book is called Penny and Peter, and it's a fun short book about two helpful brothers that we really enjoyed. The boys aren't perfect, but they have a good work ethic and they respect their parents. There's some silly parts. Um, it's short, it's good for our younger kids. I really enjoyed it. Pippi Longstocking was another book that we read that we really enjoyed. Um, Pippi's just so fun and she has amazing adventures and she's kind of carefree and it's just fun to read stories about that. Um, there was nothing objectionable in it. She's just fun and silly and she has a sweetheart and she's adventurous and we enjoyed it. The next book on our list is another short one that we've read several times and my kids have read on their own. It's called The Bears on Hemlock Mountain. This is kind of an interesting story um, of bravery and a boy becoming a man type thing. I mean, it's really short. You can read it in one sitting. We've done that before. There are some pictures in it. And we would enjoy it and recommend it. Henry Huggins is another book that we've read and we think we've listened to it on audiobook as well. It's just fun. My kids like hearing the story about this boy who was in third grade. And um, just, they, my kids started saying like 1950s words, like golly and gosh, I think, after hearing this book once or twice. Um, I thought it was fun. My kids picked up other books from the series too. There are stories, Henry and Ribsy, about him and his dog, and a couple other ones. They're just fun, good, um, clean books to read. I definitely would recommend My Father's Dragon, the whole, tr the whole trilogy. This is all three books. There's three books in the My Father's Dragon trilogy, and they're in one set. I would definitely recommend this book. Don't miss it. It's cute. It's clever. Um, it's written for younger ages. It's kind of like a fun fantasy book that younger kids can enjoy. It's clean. Um, it's well written. We really enjoyed it. Would recommend we read the third Boxcar Children book and that's where we stopped because it just, the writing is just not that good. The stories are really unrealistic and it just kind of gets a little bit twaddly at that point. And um, yeah, that's, that's where we ended. We read the book Mary Poppins and I had never read this book before. Of course, I'd seen the movie several times, but I was so impressed with the book. And the story is not at all the same as the one in the movie. And the book is interesting and imaginative and the writing is really good. Um, there was nothing objectionable in it. There was one negative expression about Native Americans that I skipped over. That's the only thing. Um, I definitely will reread re -re this book. We really enjoyed it. And I was going to show my kids the video afterwards, the movie, and I looked at it and I just got so frustrated that it wasn't <laughs> the same and nearly as good as the book that I was like, no, we're not going to ruin it. Just, we're going to stick with the book. Another E.B. White classic that we read is Charlotte's Web. We also listened to this on audiobook. Um, E.B. White read it himself. Um, there are funny parts. It's a good story. We really enjoyed it. It's a classic and it's good to read out loud or for the kids to read on their own. The next book is called Tum Tum and Nutmeg. 
and it is a story of sweet married mice who help their motherless family in the home that they live in and there's action and war in this book there's like a mouse war I thought at first it might be a girly book because the cover and the title just seems really girly but it's not at all the kids really enjoyed it we read the whole trilogy there's two more in the series and apparently I really like books with animals like dressed up wearing clothes and in a story that's what I've discovered since homeschooling so Tum Tum and Nutmeg I wouldn't miss it it was one of, it's one of my favorites I also read Justin Morgan has a horse and this one at first I almost put it down because it was a little bit slow to start off and I thought it might be a little bit too advanced for our kids but it wasn't it was really interesting it's a true story um, it's a great living history book of the early 1800s. It talks about the War of 1812, and they even get to meet President James Monroe in the book. And I learned lots about horses. We really enjoyed it. Um, I would have them read it again, and when, maybe when we get to that point in history, I'll have my kids read it again. We read Little House in the Big Woods. If you can believe it, that was actually my first time ever reading this book. We loved it, of course. Definitely recommend. Not too girly at all. My boys enjoyed every bit of it. That's it for part one. Stay tuned for part two and we'll go over the rest of our list of books. Thanks for watching.